Oh, uh, it's a bow tie. Ah. Thank you very much. Also, <laughs> probably all of this is going to get cut. Anyway, uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to, to the Brooks, Brooks and Zach Hundred Con- Years Podcast. Whoa, yeah. flipping it up, mixing it. Whoa, da 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 da. I mean, I thought this was my show, but okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, now it's the Liam show. It's the Brooks podcast <laughs> featuring the clown. Hey, at least you get like your name in the title as well. <laughs> Mine's in the title. What? Don't think about it too hard. But it's <laughs> <nice>. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's what happened. What Zach and I have gathered. Uh huh. Our minds were controlled by somebody in order to get the information that we were both after. And then used us to murder the guy who had the information, and now we are wanted for that murder. And that is the reason why we ignored you guys yeah, for that entire time. We could have had a nice nice little gathering at a ball and had some sweet meats and cheeses. We've been explaining the ball this entire time. Yeah. We've been doing this for an hour, yeah. trying to make these guys <laughs> less upset with us. Yeah, and I, when you guys you... were kind of out of it... I'm we threw some rocks there. at you. I mean, I threw some rocks, but I told Liam to help take the blame, and he told me to go fuck myself, so we threw some rocks at you when is, you were out of it. Is that why my I, my I, head started bleeding randomly that one day? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, exactly. And no, that's uh, that was a brick. Wow. Oh, Liam. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> we... <laughs> We did not want to ignore you. Yeah. We honestly, like... Forgot I, about your existence I, entirely. I am perfectly, like, I am completely content with remembering that you exist. Look, you and... Just, honestly, honestly, that's all I really needed to hear, and I'm super okay with it now. Uh, thank you, Liam. Now the only person left to convince is Brooks, he's Josh. lying to you, but, but I, you will never convince me. I will never fucking believe you. Okay, I believe you. Oh, that's good. Cool. It, so it's just like that one event that happened with the two towers or whatever. We'll never forget it. I don't know, like lots of days. I really don't remember what you're talking about. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Two towers. I'm not gonna forget that movie. Those movies are fucking awesome. <laughs> Why did we do this so early? <laughs> I don't know. We this didn't was, have to wake up so early. This was a mistake. <laughs> this was definitely a mistake. <laughs> All right, now, now, now I'm invested. I'm done. I got attacked pictures by to Instagram. Soul. Yeah, how'd you get attacked by a saw? Because I was sawing something with a little keychain saw. Because the theater I've been working at has absolutely no materials, and then it decided to malfunction. And by malfunction, I mean I screwed up, and I went. What'd you do? No, you know what? That that cut does not match the noise you made. It was more like a. It doesn't. (laughs) Pretty much, it was more like a. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It doesn't match the the noise. The thing on your arm is the. It doesn't match the noise or the motion you made with the other hand. I don't really remember the motion. I was just sawing, and then my arm did something, and then I looked. I'm like, no. (laughs) Well, that's inconvenient. Well, back to work. (laughs) I was like, damn. I hope they don't see the blood. (coughs) Who's they? Everyone that works there. You're not supposed to get blood on sets. I don't know if you. Oh, I didn't know you were working with people. I thought it was just something you were doing in your room. What if you're doing like Macbeth or something? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know enough about oh, Macbeth to get that joke. There's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, sweet. You know that movie? There will be blood. Yeah, completely misleading. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of is. There's very little blood there's in the movie. In fact, oil there's, blood. that's the point. Blood, blood oil. Blood oil. Blood, oil. Oh, there's, blood diamond. There's no. Yes. <laughs> there's no guarantee in that movie of blood. Yeah, like that entire time, like nothing like says that there's going to be blood. No, okay. not a single, the title. Not <laughs> a single character in that movie says there will be blood. No, yeah, I know, right? We can't believe titles when when movies. Well, I mean, they talk about oil veins, and veins have blood in them. Shut up! Just stop talking. Okay. Will you get out? I'm of sorry. I'm like Shyamalan. I'm <laughs> anyway, trying to think of the I heard Split Which is actually was, good. We I, really liked it. He you saw it. it? You didn't I tell me you were gonna see it. Hated it. Oh, you hated it. Yeah, he, he hates it because he hates Shyamalan. Okay. Yeah, he hates like everything. It, well, Shyamalan. It's certainly you don't. So you don't like the original like two good ones. No, the two good ones are good, but my it's not that I hate Shyamalan. I hate his, his formula. His formula. Okay. Split has the exact same formula as all his other thrillers, except okay. for Six Sense. So it's like a bunch of stuff, and then it's a twist. And Pretty then, much, it's okay. like a Although, bunch of stuff, and then there's like a twist, and then at the end, there's a bigger twist. I, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything because I say even if you have just a passing interest in it, do not have any of the ending spoiled for you. No, I, I, like, I, try, I do want to see it. Yeah, like I'd say, I'd say try to see it. Like the way I thought of it was that there was like a gradual like curve of weirdness and admittedly there was if you're ready for weirdness stupidness and not like 
realism realism yeah. if you're like going not ex- like ready for that then i'd say that you can enjoy it and that the curve into that weirdness yeah. and somewhat stupidness is gradual enough that i'm like yeah i can believe this also and then, james mcavoy's acting yeah is no yeah, I, 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 I heard acting is very good yeah, i heard I'd his say, performance was great just for james i'd McAvoy say the, main girl. the twist <laughs> at the <laughs> end cool. is yeah. i like i'd argue that's actually really good because it succeeds in what a twist yeah. does which is put the rest of the movie in context yeah. he only does that to coyotes I, I don't. I don't. Oh, don't you spoil just, anything. You you walk <laughs> out of the theater. And I he, you walked out. You I, son of a bitch. I don't think that movie deserved even like because it did exactly what I thought it was going to do, and I'm like, all right. Well, done. Like, I, I cannot... all right. I, one thing I hate when I see movies is I'm like, this is going to happen. I bet, and then it happens. Exactly. That's exactly. I, I what hate happened. that. But like, I I would if I wasn't poor, I'd do this. But like, I will not walk out of a movie theater. Yeah. I mean, if I'm watching it at home, I'll well, turn it off. I was also with that was. I know it seemed really rude at the time, but that was my way of being more polite. Yeah. Oh yeah. He if was I just watched talking. the rest of the movie, yeah, I would be... have been yelling. At oh, okay. the best part was uh, how uh, Brenda was sitting between you and you, uh, Liam and Brooks. Uh, you were on one end of the spectrum, just going, oh, "Fucking this! Is, I can't believe the fucking shit is happening." And then <laughs> Brooks and Liam would go, "I don't know why Liam hates this." And she's just because, like, "I just like, I just this is a movie." I'm see, gonna, like, <laughs> because the thing was, it was. Like, I wasn't even man, talking to her. I was just talking to myself. I was yelling at myself. It was <laughs> like a. I want to watch more movies than you, Liam. <laughs> it was like a spectrum thing too, because Liam was just there, like having the most possible negative reaction, and I was like completely into it like that movie that movie like sold me like yeah. i'm just like i was into it and i like like i said if you buy into like you know like all the yeah. all the different stuff if you go in like like ready for that i feel like the movie you I, know it treats you i well. just yeah, i just once again i'm i'm familiar with Shyamalan because yeah. i like watching his movies and being angry at him it's cathartic for me you just love being angry i've noticed like need you hate a lot anti- of things it's, it's catharsis i like i like it i, okay. I like being angry so it's let's weird. watch antichrist again yeah, uh, but it's I don't want to see the penis smashing. That's just you. That's fine. Then we can both get cringed at it. Okay, um, true. But I just I just hope it's better than the visit. talking. I try. I've been trying to say I hope it's better than the visit this entire time, and well, you interrupted me. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying to not talk over each other, okay. and we are. Yeah, guys, the, we're trying not. The to visit is the worst thing I've ever seen in a long time. Then you're gonna hate. No, I'd say that because this visits, is, does it have a fucking annoying child actor? This is considered mm-hmm. one of his better ones. Technically, okay. it doesn't the, have a child. People actor. say, "Well, no, all right, it doesn't." That's, I, well, a child. I, all right, I will still see it regardless. But yeah, but I mean, if the, it depends on what you hate about the visit, because like a lot of things, uh, almost yeah, everything, a lot of the things I hate about Shyamalan, especially its comedy. Yeah, then you're gonna hate a lot of the there things. Are, split. There were a few good jokes. I'd There's say. a lot of some com- of the com- some of the comedy doesn't work. Some of the comedy doesn't. Like, like I said, if you go in, like, Shyamalan has never been good at, like, dialogue. That's I'd say, writing-wise, that was the weakest part, because I feel like the story itself mm-hmm. was very, structured very well, and, like, it brings you along, like, it, like, it takes you along, and, like, all the beats work, and, like, the characters it focuses on have, like, uh, specifically uh, James McAvoy and the lead girl, they have very good character arcs, and they're both really great characters, in my opinion. I don't think she had a, uh, on paper, I don't think she had a good character arc. I, th- I think she was just kind of through in the movie because, like, I think um, I don't know if you said it or Caitlin said it. No, Caitlin said it. She never watching the movie. She did not care whether the girls lived or die. No, they, she had no I feelings either. for them. They, yeah, I, I, I there was, I've heard the there was girls never and, like, yeah, the yeah, other oh, girls are the worst. She said there was no so, suspense. From every review I've read, read. she didn't I, care about them. I feel like that was true for the very first scene, but for every like as time went on, I don't think that's true at all. No, like I think I there was. I think she was trying, like, at the first part, she was just like, I don't think it was that she didn't care about the girls. I think it was that, like, she's just like, when they were freaking out, I think she was more like, uh, this is not going to help. You guys need to know that. We need to come up with a plan. Has anyone seen Moonlight? I really liked Moonlight a lot. Talking to her afterwards, (laughs) after the movie, uh, she said she was never invested in the characters. She didn't care whether they lived or died. See, I... Because there was no, there was no substance to them. It was just... The, oh my god, Becky. No. Yeah, the, the whole of the female no. characters were, I'm a female character and I'm spooked. <laughs> yeah. I'd say the, the two side, like the two other girls, they weren't all that great, like either acting or writing wise. I, I maintain that the main girl, as you learn more about her, is a good character with a good performance that I was invested in. Uh, coming from the middle of the road... Uh, I think it's a good movie that definitely has its uh, 
peppered in really ooh oh no no oh, I, I I agree with you I think there was like plenty of like stupid moments it's just like if you get past those there are some really like really good stuff that yes. sorry we were supposed to not talk over each other oh well I think no I think the, I think the rule the rule is that you can't interrupt people because we'll do that regardless I think it's that there should be two conversations yeah. going on at the same time yeah, yeah like I was <laughs> But you're a little trickster, you little boy. Yeah, hey, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> that's a good uh, sock to the uh, face. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but yeah, what was that? <laughs> the worst scene for me, though, was when the... Uh, uh, don't spoil it because I do kind no, of want to watch it. This scene doesn't matter. Uh, That's the well, point. I don't know. There's a lot of shit like right, that. Where, where, where does the scene take place? The beginning of the movie. All right, don't worry. I'd say that, like, there was some stupid stuff in the scene, but overall, I think... To what, like, the greater thing of the movie, I think it did matter. Explain to me that three minute scene between the therapist and her neighbor we saw never again. It, I feel like the neighbor. And everybody's crazy. The, <laughs> the neighbor, the neighbor wasn't. Am I right? <laughs> the, the, Based on some. Uh, the neighbor wasn't, like, all that well written, but she served the purpose of, like, from the beginning, establishing the whole, like, the mindset of people who's just like, ah, pe- crazy people are just fucking crazy, you know? And they're just a bunch of lunatics. I don't know why you care about them. And the therapist is just like, well, you know, they're still, you know, people, you know, they just have problems. They're and I think, people. I think that, like, yeah. and then I feel like the movie, like, like later on, is trying to do the whole thing of, you know, if, you know, me- like mental illness, abuse, all that kind of stuff doesn't make you less of a person. Yeah, I does. think that's. I look at Liam. Well, I will have. I think that's what the movie is trying to go for. I think that scene. I will have all these thoughts in mind when I eventually see it. So, have you seen other Shyamalan thrillers? Yeah, I've seen The Happening in the Village, and I've seen Sixth Sense, and I've not finished. See, I liked Happening. You're gonna hate it. I liked Unbreakable. No, I mean. Split. You're gonna hit. Oh, if, okay. if you're familiar with Shyamalan's work, yeah. And well, I do. Thing- I do agree. I'll say this: like, I don't think like every movie he does should be like, oh, here's all this stuff, and then a t- plot twist. Like, I feel like him like being known for plot twists like really damages his films. Yeah. Because you go under, you're like, all right, like I shouldn't trust anything because there's gonna be a plot. I'd twist. say what people like assume is the plot twist is not actually a plot okay. twist, but just some. Just a part of the story what? that was established earlier, and then once again, the, the only like twist thing yeah. is like the very last thing. I, I like I like directors. I mean, granted, like I like Wes Anderson, and a lot of his films are kind of the same. But I like directors who like to mix it up and shit. It's know? better than Avatar: The Last Airbender and After Earth. Oh, that's but right. you, oh, both those movies like I'll say absolute ass. ass. Oh yeah, but this <laughs> this <laughs> garbage. I wouldn't even piss on them. <laughs> once again, you're not familiar with Shyamalan's work, and the part that you're saying is really not a twist to him. That's the twist. Like, well, he, I feel, I you're, feel you're, like you're, you're like based on the movies I've seen up from him and the interviews I've seen because I've studied this man because I hate him so much. I just love to hate him, <laughs> and he's he's far more superficial. Like you're giving him a lot of credit, <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, uh, even if you've like seen interviews and watched the movies, you're still making a lot of assumptions for a guy you don't know. Hold like, on. don't, like, really Hold know. Hold on, so if I go see it and I like it, what should be your punishment? Because I should do something to you. Like, you give me your knife or whatever. I don't know. Just saying that. You know, just, just giving out options. Give me your knife. Oh. What? I'm going to say no for Leo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, so, yeah, all right. Uh, enough talking about a movie I haven't seen because I'm fe- I feel like we're getting this spoiler territory here. Yeah, um, we're definitely like all, we're right. Because the, the more, because I know the more Liam talks about something he hates, he's going to like spoil a scene that I really probably hates, yeah, and I yeah. like is important. Why don't I we get like out of this you... in first? I like things. <laughs> now I feel like you need to talk about things I like. <laughs> well, you don't. We, Do you we, like me? I like I'm the, a thing. I like you. I like the smoothie. <laughs> I like I like the Joker. Not Heath Leather's Joker. You don't like Heath Leather's Joker? Not no not okay. I like it, but not as much as people give it credit for. You know what I mean? Well, I don't like it enough to go shoot a bunch of people in a Dark Knight showing. I'd rather just shoot everyone who made Dark Knight, except for Christopher Nolan. Touche. That is a fantastic performance. You're wrong. That, Who's that's your the favorite? It was, it was his voice. Who's the your voice favorite? Joker? Bothered me. Mark Hamill. Mark, um, Mark Hamill's a very good one. Yeah. I like the cartoon one. I, yeah. I love Mark Hamill. Look, He's I like... Of... All, they're both great. Like, they're, like, there's no... There doesn't need to be a best one. Like, they're all great. Except for, you know, the other ones are terrible. Personal preference. Yeah. What else do I like? I like, I like music. I like... I like... I like Daredevil. You're I just like... looking around at what's in the room. <laughs> I am. But also, that gives me ideas. 
I like that. I love Batman. Yeah, you, Batman's cool. Just list oh, speaking things. of that, uh, I was thinking about. I mean, I don't like post things like as tweets a lot, like a lot of funny quips or whatever. But like, I uh, I was watching uh, Bronson again, and I was like, man, The Machinist and Bronson are both really important movies for for everyone to see. see but The Dark Knight Rises is a very unimportant movie for people to see. <laughs> It makes you very much think of White Dragon. I'm glad you got that. Uh, I know. Yeah. But it also has Tom Hardy. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It's great. I love Tom Hardy. Ooh, yeah, Tom great. Hardy. You've seen Bronson, right? I have not seen that. So you I just seen oh, I, I was talking to Brooks, and we you broke the clause of no two conversations. <laughs> I just said it under my breath. It wasn't even great. a conversation. Great! Nicholas Winking Reverend is an auteur of our time. You all need to watch Peaky Blinders on Netflix, because that show's I've amazing. I've seen that show, but not all the way through. We've talked about this. My dad Didn't likes we? that show. Yeah, we, it. it was like the first episode you were on we talked about. The worst movie no, my parents I, saw I haven't seen Hudson it until Hawk. recently. Well, oh no, not Peaky Blinders. We were talking about the other one, the the fucking vampire. Yeah, one. I've seen that Peaky I love Blinders. That I always forget. I've seen Peaky Blinders, but I, like I'm on the final season. I think I'm on the second. No, no, no. Season. I'm at the season where they got the really nice house and like everything's going really well. And his wife. Were they introduced Tom Hardy? Yes, I've already. Yes, yeah, that's Tom the second. Hardy. That's the second. Season. I started I'm watching Taboo, one. which also has Tom Hardy. I finished Voltron. But I have you seen Boardwalk Empire? Voltron? I have not. I I'd say Boardwalk Empire is better. But I like what they did with Peaky Blinders. I think it's really interesting to have like. Modern music mixed with that old time. Oh, like I think it's really. Feel, like I really that. love the cinematography. I love the, it's the way it's edited. Yeah. I love, I love its theme song. Like sometimes during like um, shows, like I'll like skip its theme song because like I know it. But like I love how it's incorporated through like the show. Yeah. Like, no matter what's going That's on. What I do with anime. Stop! You just stop it, <laughs> Zach. What was that? What were you saying about like a movie? Oh, Hudson Hawk. How, what's that about? Uh, you mean Hacksaw Ridge? But forget it. Anyways, Brooks, you talking about something? <laughs> Zach. No, I just remember my parents like, yeah. I was like, guys, what's the worst movie you've seen? Like, oh, it was Hudson Hawk. I'm like, my dad said the same thing. I was like, when did you guys go is. see that? They're like, well, it was our first date, and we walked out of the movie theater. I'm like, yeah. What else? Like, we don't want to tell you about the movie. I'm like. Oh. Okay. What is Hudson Hawk? Hudson Hawk is about a man that's like a thief. Like he's a professional. It's like Mission and Mission Impossible, but a little more campy. Okay. I haven't seen it, but when I was a kid, so we Cody had... Banks. I Cody Banks. No, when I was a I kid, we had the Cody NES, Banks. and my dad had the Hudson Hawk video game. And I would there's a Hudson Hawk video game. Now yeah. this movie's gotta be great. Well, now I'm gonna look up the Hudson Hawk video game while you yeah. look up the Hudson Hawk movie. Like I remember, there was this part. Like I would, I was like three when I was playing it so I could never get past it but mm-hmm. he, there was a dog jumping on buildings and you had to escape the dog so I would I find like a I baseball and throw it at the dog game, okay, it would so, look like a baseball I'm not sure what it was but because it, it was NES but. I'm looking at Hudson Hawk on IMDb uh, the little blurb is a cat burglar is forced to steal Da Vinci works of art for a world oh, I've for a world domination movie. plot it has a 5.7 on uh, IMDb and a 17 on Metacritic. So it's probably an art film is what it is. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like uh, it. No, it's I've got, heard of this movie. It's got a... Uh, Guys, we can get Hudson Hawk so for the Nintendo NES for only 60 bucks. Wait, what year Jesus, did it come out? I can give it to you for free. Like, it's in my house right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, hold on to that. It's worth something. What are you doing? <laughs> well, let me look at the reviews for it. This game isn't very fun. A lot of cryptic puzzles you'll learn only through trial and error. And a limited number of lives. You'll be replaying everything. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, and I keep end up dying. It's frustrating. So that it's just an art suck. game. Guys. It's an art game. <laughs> what, what year did it come out? Uh, 1991. The this game was your or... parents' first date? Yeah. What? Wait, when were you born? Yeah, 95. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought you were... Like, he's also their I, oldest I, child. I don't know yeah, why. I, I always forget he's the oldest. I always think you're a middle child. No. Yeah, no, I always, like, I always think like you're, you're like, like a lot older a than me child. like by like five years, but you're not... You're, I'm also you're a only child. you're 21. Yeah, yeah. You're only like a and few he's months old. Yeah, yeah I, I'm a garbage fire that came to life, but is not racist like Trump. Like I, I was like, whoa, boy, guys. <laughs> I, I, I love like all races. You were, you were the liberal. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, dude. Like I don't know. I, I like to fuck black chicks. I always problem it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a garbage fire, so I said obscene things, but like in a nice way. <laughs> What's that? I was like, don't blame Mega Kelly for bleeding. Um, what else has been going on? Silence is good. I don't. I, I, no one else has seen it. No, so go watch it. God finally forgave Martin's first case. Martin's first case. Martin Scott Morsese. Yeah.
Uh, John Hurt died. I know, and I'm trying to forget it. God fucking damn it! He had he was was he was the cyborg in Alien, right? No, no. he was the guy who had the, the chest yeah, burst. Yeah. yeah, he was the first chest yeah. burster. That's right. Yeah. He's the guy to, yeah. who's known to be I, to John die Hurt the most already. in movies, and is now dead. That's probably John Hurt, Who right? Is that, that is not John Hurt. I don't know. I just googled. Is right that on. Ted Cruz? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're also right for some reason. Uh, that, lo- that looks like something from Tim and Eric. Like that looks yeah, like a Tim does. and Eric awesome show. What like, emotion do you think this guy is feeling? Fuck you. A Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. He's feeling cog. That's what he's, he's feeling cog. Yeah. If it, for for everyone, it's a picture of a man like with a he's cog a, floating in, in cyberspace. In, yeah, in cyberspace. He's he, the what it, his face says is that I killed all those people and all I have to show for it is the CGI cog. <laughs> Look at his fancy ass watch, though. Like Ooh, it was a Rolex. He, Send that to me. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, now that we've watch. described it, I'll have to put it in the YouTube thumbnail. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Um. What else has been going on? Anyway. I punched the dog. That was pretty sweet. Wait, uh, why what? No, him? I'm not going to explain it because now it'll be interesting. So continue with it's what you're saying. It's still interesting. Also, yeah. it's not true, but continue <laughs> with what you're saying. Mysterious. So our minds were controlled by what we think is an evil enchantress. Because I heard a woman's voice right before the guy burst into flames and turned into a skeleton. Or it could be a very feminine man. You don't know that. It's possible. Yeah. I'm not ruling that no, out. It could be. Yeah. So some kind of warlock or enchantress yeah. or someone with magic who controlled our minds yeah. and made us forget that you guys existed. That person used us to find out where yeah. Matt was going. Solid logic. Yes. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. God, you gave damn me, it. You gave me one of those shifty-eyed looks. Because yeah. <laughs> he's Jewish, isn't No, it? I did not mean that. I'm What's not, your racist? I'm not super Jewish. I just, I got some Israel blood in me, all right? Because I put it in me, okay? Really. I know. I it's just, really. part of the joke. So, don't dissect sure. my joke. Sure. My characters, I don't sure. read right and I don't say things correctly. That's my character. Sure. In my real life, I'm very, like, smart. I've got a very good brain. <laughs> I do smart guy things. I do smart guy I've, things. I've got a very good brain. That's the president, guys. Sure. That's the president. <laughs> I, I still maintain that this is just a crazy ass social experiment. Yeah, I mean, it's not. At this it's point, not. it's not. It's not. You, you You're to, not getting punked. You got fucked. You have to let go of that notion. Ashton Kutcher's not coming that, to save us. That, that, where are you? That's an alternative alternative fact you're thinking of right now. Which is still a fact. No, it's no, not. It's, not. <laughs> it's, it's called a lie. Yeah, it's called a, I'm lying. And please, I want to stop blink. this interview. It was the Liam blink. <sighs> so... All that shit went down, mm-hmm. and that, on top of the murders that Liam did a few weeks ago, Ayo. and also the murder that Josh did at around the same time. Uh, it was not a murder, it was an aggravated killing. Thank you. Which is a murder! No, what? it's not! He's different! Because I say it's different. It's like manslaughter, except you're killing a man. Exactly! You're slaughtering him, and it's not in self-defense. <laughs> you're, sl- you're slaughtering him with well, intent should... like an animal. <laughs> I should have said that, it was in self-defense. <laughs> It was well, in self-defense. So what if we didn't have a weapon? I had all of them. Yeah. Like, I, I did yeah. like the future crime like in Minority Report. I knew he was going to kill yeah, me. That's Josh, why I killed him. Josh, it was in self-defense. He was trying to defend himself while I murdered <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. But uh, because of that... I'm a murderer. Be- because of all that, we are now the most wanted men in the city of Walden. But this place has a fucking name. Yes, it has a name. When does it have a name? We've well, been here know. for months. I, I haven't seen a fucking sign, man. I've been in here this I entire time. I forgot that that was the name Walden. I, oh yeah, this fuck! Is, you're Walden. Shut yeah. up. Just stop. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here and go do yeah, something else. Yeah. What, what? Okay. So I've arranged with Scalpy. I've had to pull in every Wait, who single thing. That's a that's a long story. Okay. Well, actually, it's a short story. It's a guy I know who scalped the invitations that got us oh, to that okay. ball. Different kind of scalping. Yeah. Apparently, he but, is, okay. he assumed like some like you know like warrior clan like you know scalping your enemies type shit. I don't think I'm wrong. Still, I I can't disagree. Or he doesn't well, scalp I mean, actual scalps. It's a term for selling like tickets to something. Oh, oh a scalper. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're both wrong. Fuck you. Let's go find him. Anyway, I have talked to him and pulled in every single favor I have, and he is going to arrange for us to be smuggled out of the city. How many favors 
did you previously have? Uh, I had seven. I pulled in one for the invitations and six for this. Okay. All right, then. Yes. That checks out. That's math. So <laughs> It is. Within, is it? within the next few minutes, he's going to be having whatever vehicle he's going to smuggle us out and come by the inn, and we're going to pile into that and see if we can get out of here. I hope it's something luxurious and comfortable and like family friendly and safe. Like a Lamborghini. Yeah. That would be nice. Can be used in the city and off road. Can it be used off road? No, no. no not at all. I'm, t- I'm describing the thing that he hopefully has. <laughs> oh, I was about to say I'm like, yeah, in GTA. A Land Rover. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in real life, technically. <laughs> okay, so Scalpy, this is literally a cart full of human scalps. Hey yeah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You just don't get in the you don't get in the car and we're gonna head on out of here, you know what I'm saying? Your voice has changed a lot since the last time I saw you. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's a lot of things going on and a lot of things I gotta figure it out. So, uh, just get in the car and we're gonna get um, out of here. So, what, do you want us to hide under... Guys, get in the fucking cart! I'm already in here! Wow, dude, that was... <sighs> okay, alright, I'm just gonna... Everybody follow the racist man's lead God and get damn in the it. cat. All right, really all right. nice. I'll, I'll bang anybody, please. Okay, alright. racist man's yelling, He's... man. These are very, like, very Ugh. scalps. Oh, yeah. gross. They call me oh. the scalper for reasons. Oh, I thought it was because of the tickets, not this. Well, well, I yeah, do, I guys, we have to get on oh. Come on, Liam, like, get, in, get in here. Um, I'd rather take my chances. Get in the fucking cart. What? If it's, we have to be covered in scalps, so do you. Yeah, yeah, we're all in this, literally and figuratively. Yeah. We're all in this together. Just yeah. get in the right, fucking cart. Right, right, Oh, gross. Okay, we have to actually get under the scalps. Yeah, well, I mean, as long as you just snug up against the bottom. Uh, there's some bones still on there. There is not a lot of room in here. Is everybody ready to go? <laughs> I guess so. All right, we're going to head on out of here. Just be very careful and don't make too much noise. Uh, okay. Like, how, how much is too much? You make it too much already. Yes, sir. We're just going to be very quiet. I'll tell you what's going on. We're heading through the city. We're just walking, they're looking at me funny, but they don't want to mess with me, because they know I'm a scout. Is he talking to us? You're being too, you're being too loud, you're being too loud, you gotta be quiet. He's just talking to himself. They can't so know that the scouts is talking, so we gotta, we gotta keep walking. The scouts stop talking, stop talking, stop, don't worry about it. Anyway. I have a lot of Okay, shut, don't, right, shut up, shut up, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting to the gate. You need to be quiet now, especially more than ever. Because they're going to know. They're looking at me right now because I'm talking to the scouts. Hey, hey, don't worry. I just like talking to scouts. All right, uh, sir, I need I need you to uh, I need you to step aside. We need to check to see if there's any contraband and or illegal people you were trying to smuggle out of Walden. Illegal people? What you talking about? Illegal people? You know what I mean? The street urchins, the murderers. There ain't no such, why, there ain't no such thing as illegal people. What All right, are you well, talking if, about? If it, that ain't such a bad problem, uh, let me just take this spear here and... Uh, I hope you don't mind if I take a couple of of stabs. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not worried about it. I see. And there's just the normal amount of blood on my spear, probably from the scalps. It's just from the scalps. Yeah, I see they're fresh scalps. Yeah, they're fresh scalps. That's what they is. Well, my mistake. On your way, then. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. I'll I'll talk to you later. All right. Be safe out there. (laughs) Josh, you licked my hand. That's not... That's not my tongue. That was the blood. Oh, gross. Did, he shoved his spear in my ass and cut up my asshole. All right, boys, now we in the clear. You can get out of the cat. I'm just going to stick a uh, scalp in there for a little while. Baby boy Brooks, that, that so you know, good. he's even uh, now. Okay. I have some questions. <laughs> it's been good, Scalpy. You'll never see me again. I, I know. That's usually how this works. Holy shit, he vanished. Yeah, just black ooze. And he left his scalps. Yeah, I'm holy left. shit, the scalps vanished. Oh, okay, <laughs> but he left. He left the cart, so at least, we, at least we have something that we can travel and in. And thank God, no one got hurt. How's Josh. your anus? <laughs> I never thought I'd ever actually ask that to someone. I think that's the first time that those words have come out of my mouth. Congratulations. How's your anus? Uh, not good. It's still a planet. Yeah. Uh, you know the movie Split. Well, you don't like it's kind of like that. <laughs> Fuck you. That's fair. So what do we do now, boys? Well, now we have to start heading west, because that's where Matt is headed, and whatever controlled us is... Not yet. 
Whoever controlled us is probably going after him and probably has a head start. So Wait, I so, think it's best that we get going. So I I don't remember because I, I don't know, probably hit my head or something. So are we sure Matt is here? Like, did <sighs> we ever determine that? Well, we're well, sure we he's spent, not here. We he was here. Months. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. We kind of spent a few months in the city and we did not find Matt at yeah, all. So yeah. I'd say he wasn't there. And... The certain region to the west is probably our best guess as to finding him. I don't think we're ever going to find him. Yeah. That's the spirit. I think we should give up the look. Why don't That's we... That's not the spirit. Make, we are going to oh, find shut him. Shut up, shut up. Since we've been doing this for months, and he, we're obviously not going to find him, maybe we should just stay put or go on our own adventure, and then he can find us. All right, I see or should... get to the real world and, like, I don't know, live our lives. That'd be pretty sweet. Have a life no. and kids. And I time. have a bear waiting in my mansion still, so, you know, that's a What? Thing. What is your life? I. Oh, yeah, what? you weren't here for that part of the show. Oh, my face itches. Yeah, I, I'm super rich, but now I'm not because there's a bear in my house. Like Danny DeVito. Having Didn't you live in Cramopolis with us? Yeah. Uh, that my... house is gone, dude. Oh, that's right. That... Oh, my God, the bear's gone, guys. Oh, you wait. You get your riches. Uh... <laughs> All right. Liam, I- I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. We don't have to look for Matt, but we can just go on our own adventure to the west. Yes. Yeah. I Once agree upon with a time. That makes sense. <laughs> Bucks, he didn't catch it. Yeah. Wait a minute! <laughs> this West comes right off. <laughs> <laughs> this West comes right off, and there's a mat under it. We're still looking for Matt. We pull it off of a map by just ripping the word West off the compass. Uh, there's nothing under cheap. it, but it comes right off. <laughs> I think I broke it, guys. <laughs> it comes right off the ground. <laughs> If only Matt was here to hear these jokes. Uh, he will be here eventually when we find him. Maybe. Or not. Hopefully. How about we make our new Matt? What if we find him dead? Like, what, what is your plan Well, then? then... Can we bring him back to life somehow? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. exactly. Or that we probably can... will happen. Like, I don't no, know why. We can, we can give him a proper burial or something. I don't know how you this works. You guys have dealt with far too much magic shit. Like, you're, you're expecting the best dude, for no reason. Dude, we've gotten into so yeah. much bullshit that should have killed us, and we're still here. I'm, I'm honestly like... sure we can't die. Yeah, I, I'm also kind of, like, writing the whole we can't die yeah. line. We we might be dead, and this could be hell. So, like, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's find man. Well, you're like, kind of bleeding cares? out right now. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, that scap disappeared. The, 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 oh, true. <laughs> you might you might die. Yeah, maybe. I, well, guess, I guess this is where we find I out. I guess, yeah, yeah. We'll find out one way or another. <laughs> well, you did die that one time. You did bleed out. But you look, just... I'm back! <laughs> so who you fucking went, cares? You went to hell and you came back. Yeah. You went to actual hell. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty well, different because Satan didn't like him. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. But he still went there. He was yeah. very against the whole Josh thing. Yeah. Okay. It's really weird. He's a huge like Ravens fan, like the football team, which I thought was interesting. So we've started a business. <laughs> it's not a joke. Like he just loved the Ravens, and it's like what we talked about while I was there, and he was like, "You like the Ravens?" I'm like, "I'm not really into football, but yeah." So so we it's weird. It was just really weird. So we started a business, lost it. To corporate espionage, espionage. Uh, ran a detective agency for a bit, uh, ran a political campaign, searched for buried treasure in a desert, uh, a like successful political campaign. Thank you. Hallucinated? Very much. No, you you lost. Uh, no, that three million illegals voted. I'm sorry. Uh, ran a ran a political campaign, fought mutants. and you know survived political assassination attempts, then fought a cult. Open a door to another dimension that swallowed the entire city we're in, and now we're in a bunch of magic bullshit. One of our friends is a literal goblin. Sand troll. Yeah. I'd say... (laughs) I'd say if we go finding Matt, either he's alive or we can figure out how to make him more alive. See, because I kind of want to find Gregory again. We've already passed the the haunted woods. That's we went through the woods of insanity. Oh yeah, I forgot we All did. All right, that. well we know where Gregory is in there, so we can just like tie a rope. We are to not a tree going and, back to the woods but of we, insanity. But Gregory, How about, he was a nice old man, but, but I'm Gregory. not going back into those woods. Yeah. We were stuck in that woods for a whole <sighs> month. I am not going back there. How about we just like I don't know. Make our own lives here, like right here in this in, area. in this barren area outside of the city. Well, it's the pretty path. nice. This ten, rock is ten, pretty comfortable. Ten feet outside the walls, where they're just kind of looking at us, dirty. They well, can't get us out here. 
Guys, they're they're, they're, they're walking us. towards us. Let's just keep going. Let's just like get this cart going and let's let's just get. Go on, I'm already running, assholes. Okay, all right. Have you ever noticed that your shouting voice and your regular talking voice are the same? No, I haven't noticed that. Okay. It also goes for books. Yeah. <laughs> I have a single volume. It is loud. <laughs> yeah, but... I'd say... If I respected you, I'd talk like a normal human being to you, but... You know. Oh no, I don't have Jash's respect. <laughs> I'd say now is the time to, to call it. We have a oh, lot no. of... I, I heard you call speak. it. Yeah, we, we have a lot... Time lo- of death. No. It, it, what, calm, ten, calm down. Ten o'clock a.m. We uh, ten hundred hours. What is it? We have a lot of we have a lot of, <laughs> lot of traveling to do. So I'd say we we best get to it. So time of death ten thirty. I am wait. There wouldn't be an a.m. because they do military. Yeah. Time of death ten thirty. Ten thirty out. Stop. We already said time of death. Time of death ten thirty. Wait, who died? I'm, stop. I'm stop. Texting. Right, stop it. Okay. Let me do it again. Everyone, shut up. Time of death ten thirty one. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we upload on SoundCloud and, I- SoundCloud and iTunes on um, every Sunday, and you can find us there. Oh, we're actually ending the show. <laughs> yeah. I was like, he's going really on with this bit. <laughs> oh wait, we have to like do other shit. Yeah, yeah, we uh, <laughs> we we got some stuff to do. Uh, you can follow us. You know, uh, give us a rating and review on iTunes. That helps us out a ton. If you like the show, then you know, help us out. In that way, uh, the episodes also go up the following Monday on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to that. Like, comment. It all helps us out. And if you enjoy the show, then we really appreciate it. If you all, like, And if you enjoy the show, you can also write to us. You know, Brooks and Zach, 100 years at gmail.com. You know, let us know what you think of it. You know, uh, we'll probably read your letters on, on air because we are desperate for human contact. Uh, it's just me. Don't forget to visit our Facebook page, which will hopefully be up within the next week at uh, 100 Years Productions. Didn't you say that like three weeks ago? Shut the fuck up, Zach. Okay. At 100 Years Productions, right? That, that, uh, that sounds yeah, right. That sounds yeah, right. yeah. I might, I might uh, change the YouTube channel to that name, like add the productions to it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be screwed. So... I wasn't paying attention. I was testing stuff. So. I can tell when you're yeah, not paying you attention because you, you can follow us, You yeah. can follow us on Twitter. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter uh, at 100 Years Pod. That's where anything about the show, like any important information, is posted on there. Uh, for individual Twitters, I'm at Squeezy McCheesy. Zach is at Brave Snuggles. Josh is at Barrett Films. Uh, Liam is at Lamwall. You can also follow me on Instagram at Liam underscore the underscore ass clown. And I'm just at Dr. Goomba. It's not, it's not complicated. All I don't know of, why. All, you all, spell out doctor, not DR. All of these are going to be in the description yeah. of the show, as per usual. Yeah. I'll probably start adding the Instagram ones if you guys want people to follow those. Hell yeah, dude. Also, yeah. I'm about to reach 300 subscribers on my YouTube channel, and I offended a Vietnam vet over the weekend, but I'll tell you that story next time. You're not going to remember, are you? No, I will, because oh, I'm yeah. pretty bad at shit about it. And so is he. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, You're a terrible person. Yeah. All right, well, let's just have the same sign off. We do. Yeah, just do the same sign off as usual, and then we can like hit the road. <laughs> All right, just the same sign off never changes. Got to stretch though, just because. Tell you the more- Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh. Uh, it's mucus. Yeah, yeah. It's my mucus membrane. You're very greasy, man. Ew. But like, not on like the rest of you. It's just kind of like your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Is your belly button like just spewing grease. We'll talk about that next week. Oh, jeez. So much for our listeners to hear. <laughs> yeah, listener. You find her. <laughs> you find yourself sitting on a couch. It's very old. As you plop down, dust f- flies into the air. It, you can see it through the, through the rays of light that come in through the curtain. You try to count each and every dust speck, but there's just too many. You give up quickly. Looking forward, you see the walls. They're peeling. The paint is falling off, and you look down at the cracked floorboards and see nothingness below you. You wonder how you got here, and from the other room you can hear the sound of an axe sharpening. The sound of footsteps grows closer, and as the person rounds the corner, you hear Brooks and Zack hundred years. Okay, time of death, 1034. I don't know who died. God damn it, Josh! Uh, See ya.